You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree 52 for the year 2021, amending some provisions of Decree Number no. 1 of 2011, establishing the Supreme Committee for Natural Resources and Economic Security. The decree stated that the phrase the Supreme Committee for Energy and Natural Resources replaces the phrase the Supreme Committee for Natural Wealth and Economic Security. In the Decree Number no. 1 of 2011, establishing the Supreme Committee for Natural Wealth and Economic Security. A committee called the Supreme Committee for Energy and Natural Resources shall be established and chaired by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affiliated to the Chairman of the Supreme Defense Council and includes the membership of the following. National Security Advisor and Secretary General of the Supreme Defense Council, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa as Deputy Chairman. Deputy Prime Minister, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, Interior Minister, Minister of Follow-up at the Royal Court, Minister of Foreign Affairs, Minister of Oil, Minister of Finance, Finance and National Economy, the Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs, Chief Executive of the Economic Development Board. The decree annulled Article 7 of Decree No. 1 of 2011, establishing the Supreme Committee for Natural Wealth and Economic Security. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree 53 for the year 2021, amending Article 2 of Decree Number no. 77 of 2007, establishing the oil and gas holding company of a Bahraini closed shareholding company. The decree stated the following of its subsidiaries and companies operating in the oil and gas industries, in which the government contributes a percentage of the capital to the supervision of the Supreme Committee for Energy and Natural Resources in a matter that does not conflict with the basic regulations of these companies. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree 54 for the year 2021, appointing National Security Advisor and Secretary General of the Supreme Defense Council, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, as Chairman of the Oil and Gas Holding Company. The decree shall be enforced from the date of its issuance and published in the official Gazette. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, extended deepest thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa following the issuance of the Royal Decree, appointing him as Board of Directors Chairman of the Oil and Gas Holding Company, Noga Holding. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stressed that the precious Royal Trust bestowed upon him will motivate him to spare no effort in order to implement His Majesty the King's vision on increasing Bahrain's investments in the oil and gas, as well as on further developing the sector in accordance with a modern and scientific approach that copes with the global developments in the field. His Highness indicated that many pioneering projects have been implemented to develop investments and infrastructures of the oil and gas sector, as well as to increase the sector's role in serving the national economy, stressing keenness to maintain the landmark oil and gas achievements and optimize them in accordance with the royal vision. His Highness Sheikh Nasser pledged to carry on implementing His Majesty the King's vision on developing the oil and gas sector so as to contribute to achieving the economic vision of Bahrain 2030. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed delight at the success of his Fili Namus in winning the first place of the 1600 meter race of the Escher Cup held today for three year old Phillies in the Sandown Park race course. His Highness Sheikh Nasser pointed out that the victory adds to the numerous successes achieved by Bahrain abroad recently and confirms the distinguished status enjoyed by the equestrian sport in the kingdom thanks to the unwavering support of His Majesty King Hamad. His Highness Sheikh Nasser lauded the tremendous efforts exerted by Jokey Ben Curtis and trainer Mark Johnston over the past period to prepare Philly Namus for the race, wishing them further success. The Minister of Labour and Social Development, Chairman of the Labour Market Regulatory Authority, Jamil Ahmedan, stressed the importance of strengthening cooperation and integration between the Ministry and the Labour Market Regulatory Authority, as well as the partners from the Bahrain team and other government agencies. During his meeting with the CEO of the Labour Market Regulatory Authority, Jamal Al Alawi, the Minister emphasized the necessity of strengthening partnership, consultation and cooperation with production parties and their representatives, which has been the practice of the authority since its inception with various spectrums in all major decisions. Ahmedan underlined the work programs of the Labour Market Regulatory Authority and the priorities that are being implemented at the current stage in a way that contributes to supporting the stability and balance of the labour market and creating flexible solutions that contribute to enhancing the competitiveness and capabilities of the labour market. 
The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Kingdom of Bahrain strongly condemns the Iranian-backed terrorist Houthi militia's launch of an explosive drone towards the city of Khamis Sheikh in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in a cowardly terrorist attack that represents a flagrant violation of international laws and a clear and explicit attack on civilian targets and people. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs praises the efficiency and vigilance of the coalition forces and the support of the legitimacy for having managed to intercept and destroy the drone. The ministry stresses that these terrorist acts reflect the Houthi militia's determination to continue its attacks on the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and to threaten regional security and stability. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 642,572 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 507,061 had taken the second. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccine. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 10,604, with 1,213 recoveries and 1,036 registered new cases. 404 of the new registered cases were expatriates, 597 were contacts of active cases, and 35 were travel-related. The Ministry also announced the death of two citizens, a male aged 67 and a female aged 56. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National task force for combating the coronavirus. The Ministry of Health continues to call on all citizens and residents to adhere to precautionary measures to reduce the spread of COVID-19, especially during the holy month of Ramadan. For more about this, Chief of the Disease Control Section of the Ministry of Health, Dr. Adil Salman Sayyad, explains. Implementing preventive measures are very important everywhere, especially at places that we don't know the situation or the whether the people are there are infected or not, like in the markets, at work, in restaurants. So it is very important for everybody to avoid having the disease, to wear the mask, do the social distancing, and trying to wash his or her hands as frequent as they can. And of course, to avoid the crowded places. It is very important. It is the main preventive uh, method that we have. Though we have the vaccine, even if you are vaccinated, you need to implement these preventive measures everywhere, especially in the places that we don't know whether the people attending there are infected or not.